Conventions of the governing party are usually triumphal affairs. Yay, us. Well, not this one. This is Mr. Harper's put-out-the-fire convention. A lot of nervous conservatives will spend this weekend wondering whether Mr. Harper has suffered some permanent damage. He has. And just how great that damage is. They'd also be thinking, how is the damage being done to their party and the prime minister affecting the two other leaders? True, their leader has taken the biggest hit. But in the House of Commons this week, there was another very consequential shift in Canadian politics. Mr. Harper was wounded, but which leader stands to harvest the most from the Tory travails? Well, up till perhaps even last week, my guess was that the genial, young, and unscathed Justin Trudeau, though mainly sitting on the sidelines during all this, would gain most from what Mr. Harper was losing. Mr. Trudeau, up till now, was in the news whether he was doing something or not. And Thomas Mulcair was like some hopeless, sad debutante waiting to be called out to the dance floor. After all, Mr. Mulcair is well past the time he could hope to make a new, fresh, striking impression with the Canadian public. And Trudeau, with all the cameras loving him, and even the press in a partial swoon, would, by simple default, pick up the credits. Well, since Thursday of the week before last, Thomas Mulcair has managed to re-present himself, to have a second debut, as it were, and it's been pure gold for the official leader of the opposition. Mulcair has found a new, direct, relaxed, and sometimes even mocking way of handling question period, laughing back at a prime minister who never laughs at all. That's very appealing to the public and very impressive in the House. But Mulcair's performance over the last week has been also the first real counteraction by him to the Trudeau phenomenon, to the celebrity power of Justin Trudeau. Suddenly being the older person in the room, being the less photogenic, isn't a disadvantage. In the Senate scandal, Tom Mulcair has discovered a persona, incisive questioning with a degree of well-executed scorn. The manner fits the moment. In the chamber, Mulcair has owned the debate, and for the first time, it is Justin Trudeau looking on, waiting, unwontedly for someone to call him to the dance floor. Mr. Trudeau now has to worry about Thomas Mulcair till the Senate mess, it was the reverse. So, see what Mike Duffy has wrought? He has not only wounded his prime minister, he has enabled the new Democrats, set in motion a dynamic that blunts the liberals and revitalizes the NDP and its leader. It's not the least impact of the Senate scandal, it's a trapdoor for the Tories and a springboard for Mr. Mulcair. For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.